conceive, believe, achieve. Shut the f*** up. 2020's Fighter of the Year, Kevin Holland, seemingly announcing his retirement on Instagram. He said uh, he is you know, done with MMA, asking for suggestions on what he should do next with his career, and then bragged about being retired before he turned 30 years old. So I mm, wanted to get yeah. your take on that. Yeah, so 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 where did you see this? Obviously, we need a source first. I mean, uh, you know, I'm assuming social media, Twitter, Instagram, something like that. Yeah, he posted to his own Instagram, and every MMA like journalist uh, uh, outlet has taken it and run with it. Brian, Brian, can you try and find that video if it is a video and, and post it? Uh, sorry, play it on here because I'd love to see it because um, I'm a little, you know, initially while Brian looks at that, I'm very skeptical. I doubt this is what it is. It's a text. Retired. It's a wall of text he put out. Okay. Had a good run. 30. I'm a little over a month. 30 and a little over a month, and I'm paid. I'm out. Harrington. Harrington. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Yeah. Why is it bullshit? Because if uh, Kevin Holland's a great fighter. He's, he's very, very well known. He was the 2020 fighter of the year, as you just said. He's a fan favorite. He's making money. He loves shiny things. I'm talking about gold and jewelry and stuff like that. And he wants to buy a lot of it more. And he's in the prime of his life. If he was quitting, walking away, he would at least, you know, jazz it up a little touch as opposed to using a font last seen on an atari fucking game <laughs> system i mean what is that font do you know what i mean there's no way he's a very stylish guy he's not announcing his retirement in the fonts from a zx spectrum you know what a zx spectrum is never heard of it bro you don't know the 80s systems uh zx spectrum yeah or cpc uh, I'm sure it's six one two eight. You said one of those back in the day. Anyway, uh, yeah, no, no, I don't think he's, I don't think he's retiring at all. I don't know what he's playing at. Fighters do this. Conor McGregor, of course, famously always does that. Loves to, uh, you know, tease his retirement. Diaz did it a couple of times. John Jones has done it. Who else? Anyone else you could think of? But what do you think? Do you disagree? Henry Cejudo's in the middle of walking that back right now. Yeah, um, well, of course. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the you know. Yes, obviously the instinct is for somebody in that position that, you know, I my first instinct is that the what went down at UFC 279 is not sticking well with him. There's there's issues he has with with getting bumped up from, you know, training for months to face a kickboxer and being thrown to Hamza, you know, in, in less than 24 hours beforehand. And there is like some kind of upset there. And he's, you know, looking to just cause a ruckus and a, and a stink. But there is a chance that he just wants to be Batman. Well, there isn't a chance he just wants to be Batman. And, and, and I feel like I've got to kind of uh, be a company man, for want of a better word. You said they're thrown to Hamza Chimaev. You know, he wasn't thrown to Hamza Chimaev. Yes, of course, he fought Hamza and he lost to Hamza. But you have to sign contracts. The UFC made an offer and he accepted it. You know what I mean? And, and I don't know uh, if there was a, a monetary motivation for that. Maybe there was, maybe there wasn't. Uh, but, but, you can't, you know what I mean? You can't say, oh, he was thrown. He's a grown-ass man. The UFC don't put guns to people's heads. This isn't ancient Rome. You know I mean? This is not the Colosseum. They are not forced. They are not slaves. You know what I mean? They're not forced to fight, you know? So as he made a conscious decision, and whilst I understand there may be some regret in that decision, you know, maybe he underestimated Hamza, you know, maybe... You know, I, I, I don't. I, I guess we'd have to speak to Kevin Holland. I mean, I, I'll reach out see if we can get him on the show. Yeah, I, I mean, look, 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 listen. The reality is, when you lose a fight, and that was a big fight with a lot of spotlight on it against a guy like Hamzat Chimaev, and you get beaten, just trying to stop being entertaining for a second, really, really looking at it. You know, may, maybe he's going through a period of depression right now. Maybe he's def deflated. Deflated would be a better word. You know. You know, he's a great fighter with a tremendous amount of opportunity. And maybe he's gone out there and fought Hamza and thought, shit, wow. The fact that he ragdolled me like that, which with respect is kind of what happened. Um, maybe he's just going through, uh, you know, a little bit of soul searching right now. Who knows? But I've been there. You know, lots of fighters go through those kind of periods. 
Right. So it's like if you're in a situation where you're Kevin Holland, you went five for five in 2020, right? Like, you know, you won, won the fighter of the year, come back in 2021, fight, you know, two of the top guys at welterweight, lose to them both, no contest in your in your last fight of 2021. Like, leave that on about as down note, about as down a note as possible. Beat a couple guys who are not ranked at 170. And then the first time you get a really like a high ranked guy at 170, you get beaten that badly. Like, is there some kind of demoralizing thing where it's like, all right, I've now faced top five guys at 185, did not go my way, faced a top five guy at 170, did not go my way. Like the the maybe the championship caliber, right? The championship stratosphere is not like a uh, a place I'm going to hit. And this is like, you know, like the, there is like discouragement that comes. Well, of course there is. The, the, there always is. But you've got two choices. You can say, I'm not good enough. I'm going to quit. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to find something else to do with my life. Or you can say, right, okay, I've got work to do. I, 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 I've I, realized that I have deficiencies in certain areas and I'm going to fight. This is what I'm good at. This is what I was born to do. This is what I am destined to be, you know, and, and, and you learn from those losses. It's such a fucking cliche. We always talk about the losses and how you learn from them, but it's truly that. It's all well and good to go out there and just, do what Hamzat's doing, destroy people. Hamzat didn't get any better from that fight. Hamzat continued his reign of terror. Hamzat continued the hype train. He continued to show people that he is a potential champion, double champ, maybe even triple champ one day. Who goddamn knows? That's, you know, a lot of hype. Uh, Kevin Holland's the one that has to take stock, you know? And yeah, may, may, maybe he's not messing around. I, you know, maybe he's just on a whim. He put that out there. Maybe he's doubting himself, you know, but, but if you truly want to do this, you're going to have that. 